I'm just struck, not necessarily that a politician would lie, but that you would think no one would find out. Well, I'll, I'll humor you this. I ran in 2020 for the same exact seat um, for Congress, and I got away with it then, and I guess... Everyone's favorite pathological liar has done the most surprising thing imaginable. Tell the truth. So yes, Republican Congressman George Santos, a.k.a. Anthony DeValder, a.k.a. Qatar Ravash, has now fully admitted that he is a massive liar. So in this video, I'll go over these three clips. He's on with Piers Morgan discussing this. Piers Morgan, of all people. And then I'll get to uh, quickly summarizing Anthony, I mean, George Santos's, <laughs> even I'm having problems here, George Santos, or Anthony, whatever, whatever his name is, all of his lies, uh, at least the ones I could find, there, I don't think there is a comprehensive list anywhere. I have looked online, and there are places that miss, you know, a few lies here and there. So I have a few uh, links to summarize that. But first here, let's just get to the first clip, because this is too good. Here is uh, George Santos on with Piers Morgan. I think that part of your process, of your cathartic process of redemption, if you like, it's got to start from, I've been a terrible liar. I mean, would you be prepared to say that? Sure. L like well, I said, well, well, I've been a terrible liar on, the, okay. on those subjects. And, and what, what I try to convey to the American people is I made mistakes of allowing the pressures of what I thought needed to be done in order to... Dis <laughs> This wasn't about tricking anybody. This wasn't about this. It's it's. Yes, it was. No, 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 no. Let, let me the finish. The whole thing was about tricking people. Let, let me finish. It wasn't about tricking the people. This was about getting accepted by the party. All right, I got two more clips coming up. What I love about this clip is that he says here that in order to be accepted by the Republican Party, you have to be a pathological liar. Which, kind of hard to argue with. That said, <laughs> this defense still, yes, okay, yes, yes, absolutely. To be a Republican, you have to lie. Absolutely. But do you have to lie about your mom dying in 9-11? Do you have to lie about being Jewish? Do you have to lie about being on Hannah Montana? <laughs> I would say probably not, but... To George Santos, maybe those were lies that he had to make t in order to be a part of the Republican Party. So I'm going to get to the two clips, but let's, we have to address, or not address, but quickly summarize, as quick as I can, these uh, lies, the lies that we are aware of. So I have the week here, I got CNN, I got uh, New York Magazine, it's, it's, no one has a perfect list, no one does. I mean, maybe someone does. I couldn't find it. Let's quickly go over the weeks. I'm just, I'm just going to read the headlines here because I'm not going to read all this. It's not, it's not worth it. But uh, so lying about attending Lee Prep School, lying about graduating from college, lying about being a, a star college volleyball player at a college you didn't even go to. <laughs> this stuff is just incredible. Uh, lying about uh, working at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup. Uh, lying about trashing Goldman Sachs as he worked for them at a financial conference, uh, lying about helping to develop carbon capture technology. This is what I just discovered through reading this list. Uh, I don't even, there's a clip about, again, I'll link to all this below the video if you want to read more into any of these. Uh, lying about founding an animal rescue charity, lying about a swindling uh, or saying that he didn't swindle a disabled vet out of money to save a dying dog when he did do that. And I covered that in a full video uh, a few weeks ago. Lying about owning property. I don't know why. <laughs> Lying about being biracial. Lying about being Jewish. Saying his grandparents are Holocaust survivors. Uh, saying that he lost employees in Pulse nightclub. Uh, saying that his mother was a financial executive. Saying that his mom, a financial executive, who wasn't a financial executive, died in the 9-11 attacks in the World Trade Center. And then he later on changed that to saying, oh, well, she wasn't in there at the time, but then she she still was a financial uh, uh, executive. Like, all, anyways, I could go deeper into all that. It's so ridiculous. Uh, lying about not being a criminal, <laughs> when in fact, he does have a criminal record. Um, lying about being a drag queen. This is one that I actually eventually admitted to... to because you can't really deny it when the images come out. Uh, again, no issue with this at all, but the fact that he is a Republican congressman 
the party that is currently trying to claim that being a drag queen means you're a groomer. Yeah, uh, just absolutely insane. And then this one is so bizarre. He lied about voting against the House omnibus bill when he wasn't even yet a part of the House. Now, he also uh, went by Anthony DeValder in the past, so uh, has different names. Katara Ravash is his is a drag queen name. Uh, this, these ones weren't mentioned in the other article. Uh, Hannah Montana. So apparently his Wikipedia bio uh, for a user named Anthony DeValder claims that following a successful drag career, he landed roles on Disney Channel shows such as Hannah Montana and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> After his stint in TV, the Santos bio then states that he hit the big screen with a role in a movie called The Invasion, star Uma Thurman, even though Th Thurman never appeared in a movie under that name. And then uh, also was apparently a Broadway producer. Uh, he also was an art... There's another one about him being an art curator. Like, th this also apparently he claimed he was a journalist in Brazil. There's, there's just... It's endless. It's endless. So let's just get to the next clip because that's what you all want to see. Uh, here is the next clip of uh, George Santos on Piers Morgan. <laughs> Did you not think people would find this out? You know, Piers, not after I you're had... Not, you're not running to be like a reality TV no, star. No, no, I understand. Right? You know, if you, if you were going on Celebrity Apprentice, which I went on, right, it doesn't matter. You can embellish stuff about yourself. Nobody cares, right? But to run for Congress of the United States and to just tell blatant lies about even your academic record, I'm just struck, not necessarily that a politician would lie, but that you would think no one would find out. Well, I'll, I'll humor you this. I ran in 2020 for the same exact seat um, for Congress, and I got away with it then, and I guess... Right. Well, that's honest. Stupid. So you thought, actually, they don't, they're not going to find out? No, I didn't think so. I got away with it before. They didn't catch me then, so I did it again. I kept lying and lying and lying, ran on the same lies. And, well, eventually, once you win, people begin to pay a little more attention to uh, things that you said. So I got a final clip coming up, and this centers around his claim about being Jewish and the way he's defended it. Unfortunately, because it's George Santos, here is another lie that I will showcase to you how he is lying after the clip. I've always made this as a party favor joke, and it's, I've done it on stages across What's this country. What's funny about cl falsely no, claiming you're Jewish? No, 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 not falsely claiming I'm Jewish. I'd always say, I'm, I was raised Catholic, but I come from a Jewish family, so that makes me Jew-ish. But again... It's Congress always been a party favor. Everybody's always laughed, I'm and sure now that I'm, everybody's I'm canceling sure me, sure everybody's I'm, pounding down for a pound of flesh. You, because you're not Jewish. Well, I, I never said I was. I've you always, did. I, you I've, I've, said you were. And I would always say, but my grandparents are Jewish on my mother's side, so I'm Jew-ish. Mm. That was always a joke. Everybody used to laugh it up. I said it to a room with a thousand people in November. People were hysterically laughing. It was funny to them. They loved it. I don't think Jewish people find it funny. Uh, they were Jewish. I was in a room with the Republican Jewish coalition. Do you think Jewish coalition. people find it funny that a U.S. congressman who's a Catholic with no apparent background of any Jewish heritage whatsoever, other than you say you have it, no one can find it. I think a lot of Jewish people would find that offensive. I, I, I beg differ when we were at the RJC in November. Oh, George. Oh, George. Here he claims he was at the RJC, the Republican Jewish Coalition, talking to a room full of Jewish people. They were all hysterically laughing at the idea that he's not really Jewish, he's Jew-ish. Yeah, this is a lie. Because it's George Santos, he can't help himself, even though it's very clear, very clear, that he's lying. Here is a statement that the RJC put out back in December, saying uh, about George Santos, We are very disappointed in Congressman-elect Santos. He deceived us and misrepresented his heritage in public comments and to us personally, he previously claimed to be Jewish. He has begun his tenure in Congress on a very wrong note. He will not be welcome at any future RJC event. George Santos just can't help himself. Even though this is a clear lie, they have rejected him. How can you claim they were hysterically laughing, they were all in on the joke, when they put out this public statement two months ago? <laughs> I just don't... How can you keep lying like this when it's all very obvious you're lying? So credit here to uh, 
Republican accountability on uh, on Twitter for sharing all of these clips and for sharing this as well. Uh, the the saga's not done. Um, as long as Santos is around, as long as he still has power, there's going to be more lies. And I I think he's hoping, and the party is hoping that they can ride this out. And I got to say, there's about a week here, maybe two weeks, that I forgot Santos existed. But now this has come back up, now that he's still appearing on television. For Just on that note, why are you, why, why would he be doing this? Like, why appear on television at all? Like, the, people are forgetting about you. If you actually, just from his perspective, if you actually want to get away with this, then you would just completely disappear from the media. But here he is. At least he's admitting to being a pathological liar. I guess that's a step in the right direction. But I, I don't know. Maybe this actually saves his career now. I guess we're going to have to uh, wait and see.